that's good. And then we go to begin our journey. He's dark. We're silly. pine forest all of a sudden what I know. what happened what very happened very okay so uh, this is the start of the trail it is where are we we are in El Pilar El Pilar which is the start of the trail yes. uh, we've got a seven kilometer walk up and then 10 kilometers all the way down thank you it's a straight route so basically yeah we parked down in Los Canarias so 17 kilometers away yeah. and the taxi we got a taxi up to El Pilar camp and <gasps> stuff oh, it smells of um like barbecues and pine. Yeah. It's really nice. Oh, is it, Let's go play. Dude. That was sedate. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> We're on the way. See where we're getting to the altitude of no more trees. <laughs> Still on the right track. So that will be the north of the mountain. That's the west, that's the east. But we need to be south. And there's a mountain in our way. sun comes up. It's very pretty. While it's slightly flatter and I've got my breath back, <laughs> the uh, the taxi driver was amazing. To you say. never know how much to, if you want to talk or if they want to talk and stuff. But That's he was right. So chatty he was very nice chatty. He was very very helpful and um, we actually got talking to him about the island itself. And the main exports are bananas and avocados. Yeah. Um, but what a place it seemed that we to experience it. Got this trail to ourselves this morning. Yeah. It's nice. No one else on the trail so far. Oh, look at that view. Mm. Gorgeous. And like between this here and those towns, there's nothing. Oh, wow. Well, Pokemon, you surprise us. I got him. Working on the. Rutas de Volcanos. Yeah. Let's carry on. Oh, eggs hatching. Man. Yeah. You're La Palma Banana. La Palma de Banana. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Is that a good banana? Where we are. Yeah. Right. That is very good. Hi! That looks like a volcano. Ha <laughs> 
<laughs> we contributed. Los Canarios. We haven't gone anywhere. <laughs> That's a lookout point if ever I saw one. <laughs> Holy wow. It sounds like some like pottery or things like this, just the formation of the stone. You can tell that that was lava, you know, used to be liquid. It's obviously been splatted and made like a little ripple, but that's oh, it's so cool. Ugh. Who invented volcanoes and why did they make them so steep? Okay, that's tiring. <laughs> and that's south. That's where we're heading. <laughs> 10k heading south to where we parked the car. It is absolutely awe inspiring, this view. I can't help but notice your shoes are yellow. I know. They're like <laughs> Fuji, yours they turn like red. <laughs> yeah, it's all the sulfur, I guess. Yeah. This is quite difficult, a lot of loose ground, so it's easy to uh, lose your footing. Oh, Not halfway yet. But... We made it, we made it past the 10k left mark at least. There's more gonna be downhill now, so we'll enjoy it, as long as it's not too steep. It's quite Different kind of terrain you'll come across in this one tiny little island. Oh, that's cool. Wow. <laughs> Like the moon, I can definitely see the crossroads there. Right there in the middle. We'll see. Close. This is a pretty big one. Six point two to go. Oh, look at the little blue bits on his belly. Yeah. So pretty. It's starting to get really try tiresome with all the heat. Yeah. Ta we found a road. Ah. Dedicated to all the hikers that day after day visit and admire the beauty of our town. Yeah, see, 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 see. We found a car. salt pans have been here since 1967 and they've served as not only a traditional way to keep the art of making salt uh, kind of alive they also serve a good ecological use will help bring more birds to the this area and apparently 37 different types of birds have been sighted kind of in the salt pan specifically just as an aside 
those mountains there were where we were earlier today. They, all these pools are like sequential and they go down, down, down. They have a huge pump and they pump all the seawater straight up to the top. And then because they're so big and stuff, they evaporate. So it kind of gets more concentrated with salt as it goes down um, until you get to the bottom where they just have piles of salt. And they rake it all up, put it in piles, chuck it in a salt shaker and put it on your chips. Yeah, do that. <laughs> Christine, you dare me to lick the floor? I wouldn't lick the floor. Oh, you never dare me to lick the floor. <laughs> so, this place is also named uh, Tenguia. Ten Tenguia. Yeah, so. um, in honour of the last volcano that erupted here, um, but didn't, thankfully, bury this place in. Almost did. It almost did. That's why they carry that trademark. Yeah, so they can honour the volcano and say thanks for not killing us. <laughs> Second time this dog has led us to our hotel. What are you barking at? Excuse me. No. You okay. Yeah, he's fine. He's like next to us now. There, he's happy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for thank you for kissing. Hi. Thank you. It's so nice to talk about. Mm. <laughs> no. You're too adorable. Ma, I got pollos. Oh, what was your name? Uh, what would the guy say? Pollos. With spices. Yeah. <laughs> Chicken and rice. Mmm, this smells incredible. Yeah. yeah. Good job, Neil. Thank you. It's quite good, good isn't it? team effort there. Right. Let's get out. Right. Showered, happy, ready for the sunset to happen over there. 
Oh my god, it's gorgeous already. We're gonna eat our dinner there and then we'll relax to the sunset, maybe look at some stars again tonight and uh, sleep. We deserve sleep. And then this little cutie still here. Hi, you know we're cooking, that's why. Hey pups, you all right? <laughs> look mm. what we got. Oh my god, it looks incredible. Um, little uh, hack for traveling. Mm. Go to like delis and stuff and mm -hmm. they got pre-made stuff and all you have to do is cook it.